right, family check. And I just got a text from Brennan. You may or may not have gotten rear ended. All right, we're missing number three. Number three is not here right now. Number three is at work. We are headed to the airport for the first time, flying for the first time since the COVID lockdown. So we have read all the procedures. We are ready to go. Boom. Boom. And we are flying to New York to go to our niece Natalie's um, high school graduation party. Check out Rochester. Here we come. Here we come, Rochester. So this is the deal. We haven't been there since Thanksgiving, which was eight months ago. And we miss them all in Rochester. We do miss them all. And it's a great celebration, and we don't want to miss this uh, great celebration, even though she didn't get, especially because she didn't get a graduation from high school <laughs> like the normal graduation. Right. So this is the way that we're going to celebrate. So her um, parents are having a few people over for a celebration for Natalie. It's going to be great. Let's do it. Come on along. All right. can hear us so I'm not even sure but there's um hand sanitizer everywhere I would say that and the fact that there's not many people here is the biggest difference yeah right. everything else was pretty and people wearing masks obviously yeah. everything else pretty much the same so we'll see what it's like on the on the plane mm -hmm. oh she has a sparkly mask I like hers okay. all right uh, they did stop Ryan on the way in because right. had, so I have this comb and it's like a switchblade comb it's like it's funny thing that dad got me and um switchblades are like illegal obviously <laughs> and Yes, I guess I was like, Right, guys our first stop was Wegmans my most favorite grocery store in the whole wide world wow tied with Michael Lakes Publix in Florida I love Wegmans out of Rochester are you a Publix fan more Honestly, than Wegmans I'm a Publix fan. I'm a Publix fan. oh Plus, they have chicken popcorn oh you they like their chicken, chicken popcorn, popcorn. Oh, that's right Absolutely. I have to say I love I love me some Publix but Wegmans is my def definitely my favorite all right so we're at Nani's house who is Mike's mom and we brought her some flowers. I think we're gonna have lunch here and then catch up with the cousins a little bit later. Ooh. Yay! Play a little bit of euchre, a little bit of cards, and um, the graduation party's tomorrow. Ooh. So good, let's show Excited. what we brought for Nani. Oh yeah, it's just some flowers. Beautiful. Oh, 
We got them away. Oh, yeah. Got them away. Mm -hmm. They do smell great. They also have people powers of pups. Yes, they do. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Oh, look, there's Nani. So, I was trying to go to Sonic and then bruh. Bruh. May or may not have gotten rear ended. You guys, I'm in the car. We're getting ready to go to the beach. And I just got a text from Brennan that he was coming out of a restaurant where he went to get lunch today or while he was working and he got rear-ended in the new car. <laughs> so good news is he's safe and the person who ran into him is safe. But I've been texting him back and forth to figure out like, like, did the police come? Okay, stay right there. He's never been in an accident before, thank goodness. So said, stay there, and they exchanged information. So I'm waiting to hear what he has to say. And um, I'm just very thankful that he is safe. So um, stay tuned to find out a little bit more, and we'll get as much information as we can from Brennan about the accident. <sighs> We've had the car for three days. Thank goodness he said it wasn't his fault. Um, I just feel bad for the guy that ran into him. Okay, bye. Got pretty much everything figured out. Um, cops are here. They're going to write up a report. Got my license registration. I'm fine. He's fine. That's all that really matters. Um, so, I just want to smack on some Sonic, honestly. I was just really hungry. Um, so now I have to keep waiting. But we'll get it figured out. I'll catch you guys maybe at work. Probably when I get home. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. There's mom and dad and Nani and Dan back there. Okay. Uh, we are right next to Lake Ontario, which is right there, and we're on like a beach in Rochester. It's a beautiful day out here. Um, they're taking a walk and talking back there. I'm up here with mom, and uh, it's a gorgeous day. So I think we're gonna finish up here, go over to our other uh, cousin's house. And yeah. if I'm being totally honest, I don't really know the plan. I'm just kind of here along for the ride. <laughs> So yeah, I'll see where it takes me. Alright you guys, now we've made our way to Aunt Jackie <laughs> and Uncle Dean's house. This is where the big party is going to be Woo! tomorrow, the big graduation party. They've put us to work, which is totally fine, huh? We're going to be moving this huge tent. So, Dean. Hey, so I can't be thankful enough for Uncle Mike to be here right now. Because without him, he's our sixth guy. We wouldn't be able to move this there thing. There you go, there's Aunt Jackie, there's Ryan Ardo, there's oh, Katie. Hi, right. on three, one, two, Come on. three. Perfect. Oh, that's good, Ryan. Oh, wait. Okay. That was it? I think it'll work. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so they no, have a humongous tent. Yes, it is. Did it? No, There's I don't think it's late tonight. I'm sorry, never mind. On, I think. <laughs> Shut if your you mouth. If you jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I so Aunt Jackie has a story the about the cake. Order, put the order in for the cake when we were going to originally have the party much bigger at a lodge and the whole yes, thing. Yes, yes. Before, so before the COVID restrictions. many so. more people. And then I never got back to this woman to tell her that our guest list has shrunk. But today I go to pick up the cake. She says, oh yeah, you got the big boy <laughs> and the other cake. Oh. What? And she said, I'll be right back. Uh -oh. And I'm like, the, the big boy. boy. What is and she the other talking kid. about? I didn't say a word. I'm like, I don't know what that means. She came out with a box, you know, beautiful pink box Perfect. with a nice cake. And she shows me. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. Thank you so much. She tapes it up. I'm scooping it up, ready to go. She goes, I'll go get the other one. <laughs> she comes out. <laughs> you have to see this cake. Come it on. is the biggest thing you've ever seen. I've it never seen a cake this big. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> to me. Uh -huh. And showed me. And I'm oh, like, so pretty. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. It's perfect. That's very nice. Then she brings out <laughs> this. Oh thing. my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're pushing the cake. I'm Tomorrow. like, who was going to eat that much cake? That is an enormous is cake. Is that the biggest cake you've ever seen? Just this. <laughs> 
I mean, they're gorgeous. Maybe but... put this on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you could. Oh my God! Is that crazy? What? Well, there you go. So we're gonna be eating a lot of cake. Oh, Jack! A lot of cake. Okay, heading over to pick up Brennan. He uh, should be landing here in just a few minutes. We're gonna pick him up and uh, bring him over to Aunt Jackie's and uh, do a little reunion. So it should be fun. <laughs> Yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I must say that this is some heavy duty cousin loyalty. Yes, you to be here. Yeah, for like less than 24 hours. That's pretty impressive. I'm a working man. I know you are. I got to hear all about it. All right, you guys, we are ending the night tonight. Mike and I are staying with Nani, and the kids are staying over at Aunt Terry's house, so we're divided up right now. But we wanted to close the night out and share what made us happy. What made you happy today? Well, thanks for asking. What made me happy today was uh, seeing Nani, and um, I love the way Nani loves our our kids are uh, her grandchildren yes. so it's really nice so that's yes. what made me happy today there's nothing more special than family i totally agree so being here getting him safe safely and um spending time with family was awesome i'm so excited for tomorrow when we're all going to be together so um a lot of laughs today a lot of laughs it was all very good and i also what made me the most happy i think is that brennan um is safe even after his um, first auto crash, hopefully his last auto crash, but um, he's safe, so that really makes my heart happy. You never want to get that call from from your child, Mom. I was just in a, in a crash. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.